yeah, I'm staying inside. Except when I went to Walmart and the build, the line was practically wrapped around the building at seven o'clock. But I uh, waited it out and got in there and got some stuff. So uh, now I'm home, sheltering at home or whatever you call it. I hope y'all are finding something to do. Man, I just said y'all, and you'd think I was from the South, which I am not. But, oh well, slipped out. Must be a little bit of Southern blood in me <laughs> somewhere along the way. Notice I'm wearing a red shirt. My sister Merlene gives me a hard time saying, don't you have any other shirts that aren't blue? But I like blue no matter what color it is, so I do have a lot of blue shirts. But I put on a red shirt just for this special occasion. Really isn't a special occasion, but anyway. Uh, this is supposed to be Nincompoop's video chat, so what shall we chat about today? How about pet peeves? Did you ever think about pet peeves? I've got way too many of them. It's ridiculous. I'm just an old curmudgeon grump nowadays. Um, one of them is the left turns, the left turn signals. You're behind the crosswalk. You're going to turn left, kind of waiting for the light with stupid little arrow. But you can actually, if the light's green, and you can get out in the middle of the intersection and not sit there behind the crosswalk waiting for that particular green arrow. Maybe if you got your butt out in the crosswalk, a few other cars might actually make it through the light rather than you just sitting there. It drives me nuts. People in the movie theaters who think they have to play with their stupid phones. I really didn't pay this money to go to a movie so you could flip your phone on to see what time it is or whatever. It irritates the holy you know what out of me light up the whole five seats around you while you flip your phone open. I've been known to tell people about that too, so... Say, chum, I'm not turning your toy off during the movie. I haven't got shot yet, anyway. <laughs> not, not yet. Oh, there's another one, too. Don't call me honey. That drives me. Go to a restaurant or somewhere, or go in and, you know, buy something over the counter. Here you go, honey. That's just... I've been out with Diane before, <clears throat> been with Diane somewhere to eat, and she, when the waitress would come over and say that, she'd, Diane would try and uh, look at me and say, mm, don't, just don't say anything, okay? Because uh, it drives me nuts. I don't think it's proper for a woman to be calling an adult man honey. I'm not your honey. I don't think we've had a relationship. Have we gone out before or something? I mean, I could call you sweetie pie, honey lip, sugar babe, and that wouldn't be good. That's sexual harassment. Yet, they think that they can just say, honey. I expect them to reach over the counter and go, honey. See, I told you I was a grump. <laughs> well, so that was kind of a, off of the beaten path here, just hearing myself talk. Okay, I don't know if I'll post this or not. We'll see if, how horrible it sounds or doesn't sound or whatever. So thanks for putting up with my blathering. <laughs> see you next time.